Hello and welcome to this full stack web development course and in this course we will build a complete website using Marn stack and this will be a complete project where you will learn front end back end. In this project we are going to use Firebase authentication system we will have JWT token accessing then the main part is it will integrate it with admin panel so uh, users can place an order and admin can review the order and accept payment if everything okay then he can uh, just receive the order or decline the order then this website will have payment method integrated then only admin can access the admin dashboard so that will be very protected and then uh, if you want to host your emails to any third party websites, then I will show you how you can do that. So everything will be covered in this tutorial. So if you like this tutorial, then please hit the like on this video and leave a comment. I, I will provide all the assets and data for you so you don't need to worry about. So this is the first part of the video series and in this video we will just make this home part. So this is the home landing page and you can see how elegant this design is. So let me implement a little bit for you so that you can understand this. So in this home page when you scroll a little bit then you can see the effect on navbar. By default there is no effect but when we scroll then the navbar is fixed on the top then this is the banner part here we have order button and there are two foods then there are popular sections so there are some categories you can see when you hover then this will have an effect then we have another sections here you can uh, just swipe to see more foods so for example let me click here can see how beautiful this is so you can just click to a scroll food or you can just swipe it left to right then we have a sections for testimonial sections then we have uh, other sections here then we have a classic footer and in this video we will going to cover this and for this projects we will have a figma and i will obviously provide you to you so you don't need to worry about this is for our uh, front end part and then uh, we have others figma file you can see uh, though this is the sorry a little bit then look uh, this is the payment options then here is the payment history options you can see the cards then uh, bookings options and everything we will cover so hope you will enjoy this video so let's get started firstly what you will do uh, we will have to design this landing list in this video so firstly we will have to set up a project so i will show everything in detail so let's create a folder first so we will get started from the beginning we will create a folder so name the folder for example uh complete marn projects so i am naming it this complete marn projects okay then if this folder is created so let me keep it here then we will open our vs code so what we will do we will actually drag this to our vs code and paste it here so if you do this, let me close it and hit this folder, then you can see complete MARN projects and this is empty. We'll create our front end part, back end part here, everything here. But before that, firstly, let me go to Tailwind CSS websites. So tailwindcss.com. From here, we'll just hit this get started. Here it says how to install Tailwind CSS. Actually, we will use React using Vite. So for this, for installing process, we will just hit this framework guides. So from here, we will choose a bit. Then you will see a step by a step guidance how you can install Tailwind CSS with bit using React. So that's why 
the first one is we have to create our project so that's why you have to command these lines so you can just copy ctrl c to copy this line and from the terminal on vs code you can just open your terminal from here you can see new terminal there is a terminal or you can just drag it to open the terminal so if you do that then paste the code ctrl v for pasting this code here we'll type our project's name so my projects here we'll type our project's name that would be our website name foodie and then we will have client so you can see here i am naming the website name it's foodie website and it's the client part so that's why i am naming it you can name anything here so it's up to you then we have to press enter with a few seconds you can see a folder is created and some others file inside this folder so now what to do here you can see we have to go to the food client so that is the our required so we will enter this folder actually that's why cd that means change directory and this is the food client so we'll just copy this and paste it here then press enter now you can see the path is changed before it was complete man projects but right now it is food client this directory then we have to install npm packages so that's why npm install press enter it will take a few seconds actually based on your internet speed so wait until it's completed when it's done you can see there are no modules included and then what we'll do we can run these projects npm run dip okay npm run dip press enter so here is a local host link and to open this uh, website on our browsers press ctrl and click here then you can see a project is created it's a react project and this is the default home page so now we will complete the installation process then we will have to install tailwind css let's install it so for this firstly we will copy this line and again here we can just stop this project right now so press ctrl c to stop this project and then you have to type y that means yes okay let me show you everything so here we will paste the line and press enter so after installing this we will going to install tailwind css post css and auto prefixer if you check your package.json file then you can see we have installed tailwind css post css and auto prefixers so then what to do then the next one is we have to initialize actually tailwind.config.js so that's why we will initialize tailwind css so that's why we will copy the this line actually make sure you copy this line here a step by a step guidance so sorry it's not here click here on this terminal and paste the code press enter so after commanding this you can see a tailwind.config file is created then the third step we have to configure our template path so on the tailwind.config.js we will just change this content so copy this content sections and then go back to vs code from here you will see tailwind.config.js open this file 
and here you can see the content is empty but it says it will have this code so that's why we'll copy this code and then replace these content sections you can just delete this and paste your contents so after doing this the next option is we have to add tailwind derivatives to your css so the css path will be slash src then index.css we'll copy this three lines and go back to vs code from here we have src then we have index.css here are some default styling we'll just clear everything press Control and A to mark everything and backspace to delete. Then we will paste the code. So you can see I paste this code actually. Then after pasting this code, then the next option is we have to run our projects again. So npm run dev. You can type manually or just copy it. npm run dev. Press enter. So again, if you check your website, then you can just refresh this. Then our design system is broken. Why? We installed Tailwind CSS. So that's why it's happening. So let's clear our uh, section. So if you go to your app.jsx, you can see there are some options here. There are some code and this code actually rendering here. So that's why we will clear everything. For now, here we will just type Atron and here we will just define a text here hello developer, for example. Then let's see if this text is there. Yeah, the text is there, but additionally, some styling is there. Let me delete this unused code. Okay, clear everything. Then, uh, if you check your app.css, there are some default styling we will have to delete this if you do this then go back to your code then you can see now your text is here that means every default styling is gone now we can use our tailwind css properly so okay that's fine let me close everything then what you will do actually uh, here if you check your figma file then you can see uh, we have some colors here so we need to define this color and use this color actually so that's why we will just edit our tailwind.config.js for these colors so firstly here this is some green color so you can see this is the color value so the first thing is that we have to add some color on our tailwind.config.js so this is the tailwind.config.js and here we use some colors so that's why let me copy this color code and to extend this theme we will want to configure some colors so custom colors actually from here we will just type colors then we will take a clone then we will have curly braces inside this curly braces we'll type a color name here then we will have a colon then we will have a value of this color so this way we can just define colors and its value so let's do it for example for this first color it will be green and the value will be this code you can just copy this code and then paste it inside this quotations so this way you can just define color so let's check it on our app.jsx here if you want to use this color we'll take class name and we'll define bz then here you can see the color name is green so copy this and then define background color bz okay if you check your website right now you can see a background color is applied here so this way you can just define uh, your custom color for these websites then we will just define this color so this is something reddish color so that's why we will name it red then we will have to take a colon quotations and here we will have a value so hash this and then we will need front colors if you go back then you can see this is the uh, basic font color so we'll define these colors 
then this is secondary secondary colors and here is the value after then finally we will have some background colors so if you see there is not fully white it's something like this type of background color we'll copy this color and here define primary bg that means primary background color and here we will define this value so this is the value so our color implement is done then next what to do actually here in this project so we are using this font family intro font family so we'll have to set up this font family okay let's do it so for doing this we'll just go to google fonts google fonts sorry this is fonts so from here if you have selected any fonts then clear everything then you can just refresh it again so our font is you can see it's enter you can just copy this text and search this font so here you can see this is enter this is our required font family so from here we will choose some variations here we will choose thin hearted extra wide light popular medium semi bold bold extra bold okay uh, it's done we can check these review sections okay then what to do you can use uh, this link attribute to your head sections or you can import it on css so inside this style you can just paste this code so we'll copy this and from our ps code will open app.css here we'll just paste it here so if you paste it you can just define these is uh, css rules so for this we can just use body then we can just define this if you do this whole projects will have the font so if you just inspect it you can see the font is now enter you can see this font is now enter but if you want to use css uh tailwind css actually you can do it very simply this way actually so after these colors let me define a comma then we will have to define font family so that's why type font family then here we will take a curly braces here we'll define the font name for example the, uh, this will be primary font so that's why primary then we will define a, a square brackets inside this square brackets we can just paste these sections okay copy this and paste it here we'll have to use quotations so that's why quotations if you do this and for now let me delete uh let me comment these sections so for now if you go back to your websites here if you define uh, font primary then you can see the font is enter and sans serif so if you check your website again and inspect it then you can just let me show it click here then you can see this is the enter fonts additionally you can check it on computer tab if you scroll a little bit there you can see its form family and this is enter sans serif so this way you can just use custom fonts you can either do it from here or you can just use this way so i will like to i would like to use this way for now and let me clear this thing from here so why i'm doing is actually for this projects we only use one font but if we have multiple fonts we will just extend it okay that's fine so our font is set up our colors is set up then what next actually for this projects we'll use react router dom so that's why we will install react router dom we can just close this tailwind css we don't need that then what you will do from here we'll go to react router dom So if you search this, then you will see these websites. 
from your website these websites will hit this tutorial sections so this is the tutorial sections and this is the setup process firstly it says you have to create a project we already create our projects then what next we'll just command this line actually npm install react router dom local forest and something you can just copy these sections or the complete line let me copy this complete line then here if you open the terminal you can see our site is running so we can stop it using ctrl c or you can take additional terminal using this arrow or this plus icon so let me take another terminals you so using hit this arrow then you can choose any of this terminal for example let me choose git bash you can choose any of this terminal and then uh, you have to go to the specific folder directory so that's why firstly you will have to change directory right now it's on complete man projects you can see but our front end is inside this folder food client so that's why we'll go to food client so that's why cd that means change directory then food clients you can use tab to get suggestions okay then press enter oh god so let me try it i just uh, use an unwanted slash okay let me take git bash from here we will type cd then foodie client okay press enter now you can see the food uh, the folder directory has changed and here we'll paste this line npm install react router dom copy this line and paste it here paste it within a few seconds our react router dom is installed then what to do actually uh, you will have to set up routes so this is adding routes and here the setup process is we will just go to our main.jsx and then we'll paste this code this code and this code then it will be completed but for now we would like to use a router for this section so we'll create a route base so here on this src we will create a different page as we will have lots of routing so that's why we will just define router then inside this router we will have router.jsx jsx and here we will just copy these sections const route equal router equal create browsers router these sections so copy this section paste it here here it's you have to import browsers router so that's why just keep your cursor here and delete r then type r then you will get suggestions from here you will hit here then you can see we are imported react router dom if you cannot do that you can just copy these sections and paste replace it here so we can remove this you can do this way or just use my method e just delete the last letter and press enter then here is some errors so we have to actually export this so export default then route okay now if you export this then you can access it from any components so that's why we will access it from main.jsx where is the main.jsx if you scroll a little bit then you can see this is main.jsx here we will have to use router provider so this is the code we'll take it and here you can see a block here this is react restrict mode we don't want it so that's why we'll just delete it and paste our code we have to import router provider so that's why router providers then we have to import router so look here we have import router and router provider from react router dom 
then we didn't use app dot jsx so delete it then you can just delete these also so if you do this then go back to your website then you can see it's hello world so why hello world actually now as we are set up our router provider now all everything will be routed from this route so this route here look this is the root path that means our home route home page and here we define hello world actually for this div we are getting this text so if you type everything hello man developers then you can see hello man developers so everything is rendering from here so instead of doing this we would like to create another folder for our client side so that's why we will just define a layout and for the client side we will define main layout this will be our client side layout and here we will take rafce that means react functional export components so this is a routes here you can see an error it's for yes lint you can just delete this line or you can just edit your yes lint so you can just copy this line and then here dot yes lint trc dot cjs so here you will have this block after this comma we'll just type we'll paste this and then we'll define zero or off then the error has gone then what to do actually this is our main route so for the client side and here instead of implementing this we'll just import our main so import this then you can see we have imported it from layout slash main so if you check your website now you can see it's main so i think this is okay now actually what you will do we will just want to implement something from here we'll have a nav bar so that we will have a nav bar so that would be nav bar then we will just have footer so that's why footer are inside this neighbor and footer so let's check neighbor and footer will have content inside here so we will have content inside here so for this content we would like to use layer outlet from react router dom that means all children will be rendered from here so if you define any children for this main layout then that will be rendered from here like okay let me show you so for the home page we will create a folder that would be for pages and for home page we will create another folder on this page so that's why it would be home so inside home we will create another folder a file actually home.jsx type rafce so i am getting this extension from here if you go to the extension tab and type react then here you will find react redux this extension es7 plus react redux react native snippet you can install this extension then you will get this type of suggestions for example if you type again rafce and press enter then a template code template will be created for you so it will just reduce your development time okay fine so if we define it on the root uh, sorry from the router.jsx so here we'll define some children so that's why children and here we have a square brackets inside this a square brackets we have curly braces here we'll define path the path would be root and we want to use an element here the element would be our home component so that's why home components so if you set up a children here inside this root path so you can see 
what differences here we have home page if we have different page then our number will be fixed and footer will be fixed and here all the children will be inside render inside this okay that's fine so our setup process is done next we have to complete our number if you check your website then you can see we have a number here it's very beautiful number if you scroll then an effect is there you can see we have some drop downs we have some things and here we have these buttons if you check it on mobile devices you can see it will show like this if you increase the size then you can see this is very responsive here we have drop down menu then everything is neat and clean so we are going to create our number for now so let's create a number so let me close everything from here you can just close everything i just close everything so now to create a number we will create another component so hit this src we'll have a folder a file actually that would be number oh sorry we will just create a components folder inside this components folder we will have number.jsx it will be a shared so that's why we are creating it inside this components so if you do this then hold the next will go to our main layout and here instead of hard-coded number we'll just use our number components so number components imported from here so now if we design this number sections then our design will be applied here actually so still now everything is fine but we have to make this type of number so for this we would like to use a tailwind css library that will be daisy ui so this is daisy ui and we are going to use this library so that we can just design we can use the components from here if you just see components then you can see we have different types of components we have cards you don't have to create card by your own you can use this type of cards then if you need a uh, model then you can also use this type of model when you click then it will show this type of model so it's very handy to use so how to install these so if you are on the home page you can see how to use you can click here or just from here you can just see documentation inside this documentation we have install process so let me show it for example how to use click here then it says firstly we have to install daisy ui so that's why copy this code and from your terminal here you can see we have our file our project is running and on the second terminal here we are installing our command so that's why make sure you are on this perfect directory that means food client here then paste the code press enter okay done then what the next we have to customize our tailwind.config.js file here the inside this plugin we will just paste this code so let's copy it and go to your tailwind.config.js file from here let me close this here you can see the plugin is empty now we have to replace it from here you can copy the whole line or you can just copy this code copy this code and paste it inside the square brackets so here you will get an error this is for required is not defined so no diff error you can just copy these lines actually then search each on your browsers then you will get a solutions on a stack overflow or somewhere if you just want to see then actually if you scroll a little bit then you will see this way if you just define 
eslint.js file if you define node clone true then it will be fixed so we can just copy this and we'll go to the eslint so where is eslint this is eslint here we have to define node true here so that's why let me define node true or paste the code node true so if you do this then the error has gone our process is done we have complete the installation process let me click here so then to use it you can hit this next button then you can just copy any of this button for example let me copy this button then if you just delete number and paste it here as it's a react project so we will have class name you know state of class so go back to your website then you can see this is the button so this button is similar to this that's why we can say that our daisy y is working next we will just design this type of number from this daisy y so for this inside this component you can see there are different type of components if you scroll a little bit then you can find number there are different types of number this type of number this has think we have this type of number but we would uh, use to a responsive number so this is the responsive number so here are two options you can see this is the uh, this is the overview actually for the number so how it's going to look then you can use html or jsx but we don't need html for now we, we are using it on react so that's why jsx will just copy this code so after copying this code here we'll delete everything and paste it from there let me format this code so shift alt f to format this code so now on this first div we will actually define it's a header so let's def check our website now if you check your website here you will have daisy ui here some uh, items nav items and here is button so let me just customize it so if you scroll a little bit you will find daisy ui here we will have logo okay so now you can see this way you can customize these sections so we need this logo so for this here you can just import this logo you can just export group then you have to download this then go to that directory then extract wall so from here you can see this is the logo will rename it for now logo and you can just drag it and just keep it on the public folder so inside this public folder we'll paste it you can see inside this public folder we have logo we will use this logo from here so let me import it import then we'll type a name then we will have to define from where we are just going to import we will have dot dot slash dot dot slash we will have public folder dash or slash we have logo but as you are going to load this logo from public folder we don't need to define these steps so delete everything we will have slash logo slash uh, dot png then we will use this logo so that's why where is our logo text here is the logo text we'll delete it and we would like to use an image tag here instead of hard coded we'll use curly braces and then we'll just paste logo if you do this now go back to your website then you can see the logo is here but when you hover the color is reflecting so that's why we can delete these classes we don't need these classes so delete it and here we'll define a href that would be root path okay fine now we can see the food is here here is the button but it's not similar like this so that's why what we can do we can actually define something like so let me 
just close everything here we have a header we'll target this header and then class name here we'll define max w screen to excel then we will have container then mx auto after then we will have this div we will have nav bar so here we don't need background color so that's why we will delete this and here we will actually define on large devices we will define px that means padding to the start and end that will be 24 so if you just add these classes on the header and these classes on this first div you can go back to your website then you can see there are some space on the left and right side like these so you can see there are some spaces so so let me close this one then if we have some spaces we have to customize these sections actually for this if you expand this then here you can see this is drop down and then we will have some list items inside this ul so look this is the ul tag this is ul tag inside this ul tag we will have some list items here and also will have others list item here is some list items and list items so that's why what we will do we will actually copy this list item so which list item we can copy we can copy this list item so copy this list item you can just cut it and here let me add a comments here will be nav items okay and we will go at top here we can define conost conost that will be nav items then we will just take a empty fragments and inside this empty fragments we will paste our code so format this code then you can see we have pasted all the list attributes uh, items here and you can just close this so copy these sections and paste it here look inside this email inside this email we have all the list item will clear everything and use curly braces to paste it so nav items this one and i think there are another snap items where is it maybe okay uh, so there is another nav items so you can see we have already commented so delete this comment press enter here we will have nav items so if you check everything is, is still fine but the interesting thing is that if we edit at the top here then it will work so for example let me edit it the first one is home and here we'll define a step would be slash okay fine then check this is home right now then check here we have menu so we have to edit the second list item so this is the second list item and here we will have menu then check it so this is menu sorry this is menu and here we will have some drop downs all salad and pizza so that's why look here inside this ali we will have menu after then we will have some additional ali we will just define here this first one is wall the second one is salad then we need another one so that's why we'll copy this li and here we'll define pizza so some popular items so let's check our website here you can see on the menu we'll have wall salad pizza and then actually from our website you can see we have a service thing you can see there are service menu so we'll have this on so let's what to do we'll actually copy these ali so you can see let me just close this so we can just copy this ali again so instead of menu it will have sar pieces and let's check 
so it's services and the drop down will be something like online order then let me see it then the second one is table booking and order tracking the second one will be table booking then third one will be order tracking okay now i think this these drop downs has done and the lastly we will have offers so that's why here this is the last list item that will be offers okay so i think this section is done you can see we have home menu service offers home menu service offers so what the next nextly we would like to just design this button here you can see this type of button and there are some uh, buttons here but firstly let's design this button so for this button actually you can see we have icons and then text so to use these icons we will go to react icons react icons and first click this first results uh, from here this reacts icon here there are thousands of icons you can use any of these so firstly we will have to install these packages so copy this and open your terminal and again make sure it's on the current directory then paste your code and press enter okay fine let me close it then you can see here is some call icons so who will type call then here there are lots of type of lots type of icons but we need this type of something like this type of icons so maybe we can choose these icons so how to use it you have to import it first so this is the never and at the top we will just import it then we'll use it by this way we'll just copy this and then we'll just check where is the button here is the button and here we'll paste it and we'll have text that would be contact so that's why we'll just type contact okay let's back then you can see this is contact but it's something like this type of color so that's why we will target this a and here we will define bz that would be green this is custom color then we will have something like we will have rounded full rounded full that would be circular then we will define px6 then will define text would be white then will define flex item center then gap would be something like two okay let's check it now this is done the contact section is done like this one if need any space you can just define that okay i think this section this button is now done but next what to do we will have to need this type of button here so for this we can obviously use our components from here you can see this is nav bar under this nav bar you can see if you scroll a little bit here we have cards option here we have search uh, options so firstly we'll need this card so that's why we'll check this and from here where is the so here is the eight so where is eight so maybe this div actually so copy this text from here just copy the level so level text and it will paste at the top of this button so that's why this is let me comment this is button 
after then we'll have cart items and here after this cart items we'll paste it so if you paste this then i just format this code then you can see this button is here but we need some a space so that's why we'll just add class name for example here we will have this level let me close it so this is the level and we will add something like mr3 okay so if you do this now it's much better you can just define it flex item center to make it center then you can obviously then define justify content center and it's okay so let's check it now it's much better we'll have this thing we will show the uh, add to cards number here then the next day we will have the source icon so there you can see after this we will have source so expand it then we'll have this button so copy this button so copy this button and then move these cart items we'll paste it maybe let's check if it's button yeah this is the button and i think this is okay you can need some space here so that's why you can still add okay i think this is okay but now check it on mobile devices how it's going to look ah uh, it's very good actually it's very good you can see there are some additional space here it's very good so how to fix it so let's try to fix it firstly uh, we would like to we, we don't show the cards and the search button here so that's why so this is the search button actually let me format this code and this button is the search button we can add comment search button and this is the card here we, when it's on a small device we don't like to show it so that's why it will be hidden then on large devices it will be flex okay let's check it by default the search button has gone on the large device the search button is here okay fine then uh, we will target this card level and here we also define uh, on the medium devices it will be flex or on the large devices it will be flex and by default it will be hidden so that's why we will define hidden so now on the large device everything is fine then if you just inspect it on the small devices it is hidden so maybe there are some space for example here are some space drop downs then it will have initial block the first block border width so height uh, maybe what we can do can check where is the first div actually this is the first div drop down and here we have on large let me check okay maybe it's okay for now so let's check it okay this thing is done perfectly then if you do we'll have background colors but we'll design it a little bit later so don't worry about this the firstly what we will to have to do we will have to design this banner when actually this is the banner color at the top so after completing this banner we'll able to make this type of thing so that's why let's create a banner so we don't need this homebar right now 
and we can close each everything from here so inside this component so inside this component actually hit this component and create another file that would be banner dot jsx rafce then we have to use it and the banner is only on the home page so that's why we will open the pages then home page from here instead of home we'll just import banner okay if you import banner now in a state of home it will show banner so we will design this banner sections right now so for this where is the banner sections here obviously let me just keep it here obviously we will define class name and the class name would be max screen max w screen to excel then it will be container then it will be mx auto mx auto then on large devices we'll use px 24 then we have by default px4 okay let's check it now the banner is is perfectly shown here okay fine so you can make a custom css for example you can just copy it and go to your app.css here you will define a section section container then we will just use apply so apply and paste your tailwind css code uh, on these attributes okay so now it will not work actually you have to import it on your main.jsx why is your main.jsx inside this layout first we will have to import the app.css so that's why let me import then we will have to define dot slash dot slash sorry dot dot slash then app.css then if you just use this class name on any components so let me just clear it and then paste it here then you can see it is still the same okay now we will have to define this background color so that's why after this we'll try to use background color so you can check how to use background color on tailwind css so let me show you get it started and if we scroll a little bit then you can see typography then backgrounds so from here if you go to this gradient color stops then you can see this way you can define actually background color okay so that's why let's do it i will like to use this type of way if you check your figma file here if you hit these banner sections then you can see there is some styling so this is the background styling this way you can define the background color let me show it first you will define bz that will be gradient gradient and it will be 2r okay fine then we will have to define from where uh, we'll define the colors so that's why we'll use hard coded color the first color value is this one so this is the first color value we'll paste it here we need to define a hash sign then the first value is done then we will have to define two then the true value will be something like the second color so this is the second color second color so that's fine but here something here look here is the first one is zero degree and here is hundred degree so we'll have to define the first one is so that would be from will be zero percent then two will be hundred percent okay so that this is the opposite so if you check then you can see there are some colors so if you want to make sure it's working so let me just click another div and paste the code and here actually we'll define class name we'll define pay 
that means padding to top and bottom that will be 24 so if you see then you can see there are some colors here so obviously this is the same colors so let's complete this process firstly if you check your figma file here on the left side we have text on the right side we have images and other stuff so let's do it so in this div inside this div we will have two div on the first div we will have this is left side and it will be half of the width so that's why on the medium devices so here uh, md will be for example md will be double half then this is left and we need another so that's why i'm copying here and that would be right side and uh, if you check your website then you can see we have left side we have right side so what we'll do we actually define flex here so this is the parent div we will define flex by default flex will be column and we would like to define on medium devices flex would be row then we will have justify between items center sorry items not it it's center then we will define gap would be eight so if you do this and left check this is left side this is right side you can see on the left side we have some text you can see from your figma files so let me copy this text and here this is the left side let me add a comment above of this so this is text and the second one is this is image okay on the left side firstly we will need to define a h2 tag and paste this so this text actually and we will have to define some classes so first one is this will be what classes uh, this will be specifically uh, on medium devices we will define text size would be text 5xl then by default text would be 4xl for excel then we we'll define font would be bold you can inspect uh, your inspect your specifications from here but i think i am okay with this type of writing so then we we'll define on medium devices leading would be null so that means uh, line height will be 1.375 then by default leading null is okay then definitely what you will do if you check let me check it so this section is done but we have to color it like this type of color so that's why uh, what we'll define we'll cut this and take a span tag paste it here then here we will add class name text would be green okay i think this first tip uh, first title is done then we need this thing you can copy the text from here so copy this text after this is true actually we'll take a p tag then we'll paste it from here we'll define class name the class name would be uh, here we will have text excel then we'll define text color maybe the color is different from our standard uh, secondary color so the color is here if you hit here then this is the color so copy it and here we will paste it we need to define a hash before it so that's why i'm doing this then you can see this is done and then we will have a button the button would be order maybe let me check it this is order now so maybe order now here we will define class name that would be button then bg will be green then we will have px obviously that would be 8 py will be 3 then we will define font semi bold then we will define text would be white then obviously round it will be full that means full circle okay let's check it now order button is done maybe we can define its uh, okay the p 
px to 8 is not working now it's okay now we need some a space so that's why we'll target its parent div uh, we target its parent div this is the target uh, target div parent div and here we'll define a space x7 instead of x we will define y7 and we will additionally add px4 okay let's check it now there is enough a space so i think this is fine for now then we have to move to the right sections uh here we have right sections so you need to download this image so how you can do this you can just hit everything from here So where is the okay? So if you can't expect it, you can just download our Git repository from here. Go to the uh, GitHub, then my profile, my repository. So from here, you can see complete MARN projects. These projects actually you can download this, and there you will have Figma file and then food foodie clients. Inside this client, so we have public folder. Then we have all image and data. Here uh, you can see there are menu data, and we have all images. You can just download everything. Actually, you can download this Git repository and use it for this. Okay, fine. I will give this link on the description. So don't worry about this. I have already downloaded all the images. Uh, then so let me just take it so from here food clients on public folder we will copy all the images and now uh, our main project is complete MARN projects from here this is public folder and here we will paste our images so I did that so if you do this so let me close this we don't need this uh, we don't need okay fine so then you can see on public folder we will have data we will have images inside the home we will have banner images we will have food images we will have testimonial images and every images we need is there okay you don't need to worry about so that's why we will just simply use here on the right side we will have image so that's why we email define it then we will define food clients then public folder then image folder then home inside the same we have banner image we don't need to define public and other stuff so that let me delete it here we will have slash image slash home slash banner dot png okay if you do that and then you can see the images here so if you have images here then additionally you have to do these two divs actually so for these two divs after this image we'll take another div and then look we have two divs so that's why first div then inside this first div on the left side we have images so we have images the image is something like let me define the images images so the images will be slash food client slash public folder I just like to use this way so that I didn't want to make any mistakes. This is the food on. Let me remove public and before the text. So if you check your website now, you can see there is the images. You can add some CSS here that for class name, and you define round it to Excel, for example so now it's rounded then we need some text so actually so that's why we will take another div and then we will have a5 for now then the text is very simple the text is this is the text let me copy this and after then we will need some extra so that's some extra so you can copy it from this if you just check here you will see rating where is the rating okay this is rating can copy any of this look we have some instars we can copy this on for now so whole copy the whole tip and paste after this is five you can just format it 
so now i think this is the rating and if you check then you can see there are some stars here okay fine so if the stars are there what we can do uh, we can define a star so rating sm so that it will be a little a small okay i think this is okay let me copy the first one you can change the color you know straight of orange you can define bg you will 400 or 500 so you can replace this every time we don't need the last one actually okay let's check now i think it's okay we have these things okay then uh, after this actually we'll need uh, a text for the prices so let me close the strap div after this we'll take a p tag and then we'll have this we'll define here class name that would be text red that means reddish color okay then i think it's okay we need some a space so let's check it we need some a space here so that's why this is the div we will add class name here the a space will be uh a space y would be one for example so let's check now there's mass space and we need to make it flex so follows this and this is the div actually this is our div and here we will define class names flex and it will be what it will be it will have busy white background white then we'll define uh, actually some padding p y will be 2 p x will be 3 then it will be rounded to excel then items would be center then gap would be 3 so let's check it now i think it's must better i think it's must better for now you can just target this h5 and add some classes so class name that would be font medium or something so let's check it okay you can just add mb1 for now now mass space are there so this section is done actually uh, you can just define some shadow shadow md for now let's check it okay it's taking full width then if it takes full width we defined a width here that would be uh w 64 okay fine now it's mass is small so our first one is done you can see and then we can just copy this whole div again and paste it there if you do that then you can see we have two divs so we have these two sections and this is the parent div here we will define class name that would be flex that would be by default flex will be call then we will define on medium flex would be flex would be row will define items center then justify would be around then we will have margin m top minus actually 14 so that it will be at the top of this image then what we will define we will define gap for okay let's check it now it's okay fine you can see 
the two section is similar to these sections and everything is fine but if you inspect this uh sorry yeah you have to inspect your own so if you inspect this then it's not showing properly so over here it's something but i don't want the last one on the small devices so by default we'll define it's hidden and on medium devices we'll define it flex so i think it will delete it from the small devices but if you just expand it on large device then it will be shown okay or on uh, we can define it on small devices which will be shown um, that's fine so the another thing is here if you inspect the image is not showing at the top like this one the image is on the top then text is bottom so but it is not there so how to fix this it's very simple this is our image div and this is the text div what we will do we will just cut this image div and paste it above this text so here is the comment we will paste it here so if you do this then what we have to do you can see now everything is changed here is the image and here is the text what we will do we will actually define here on md row flex row here we will define reverse okay fine so that's why everything will look fine if you inspect then you can see images at the top then we will have text and it's fine but the next thing is here we have background color that is white but we want similar like this one so when we scroll then the effect will be affected on the banner otherwise it will be similar like this so that's why this is our main target so for how to do that actually to do this we will open our banner section so uh, sorry we will open our never so here actually uh, we'll have to do a little styling though firstly uh, let me close this nav items let me define something the first one is we'll define conost and here we'll define is sticky sticky then we'll define set sticky set sticky then here we'll define use a state and that would be false okay so after doing this we'll just define a functions so that's why we first will define use effect hook so inside this we'll have a empty dependency and here we'll define a anonymous functions so this is anonymous functions that means these functions have no name so inside these functions we will define uh, define another function that would be conost and handle is scroll so handle is scroll these functions will be not taking any props that will be curly braces and here we'll define conost offset offset will define uh, what the offset will be window dot scroll y that means we are scrolling to the y axis so it's sorry it's not a screen it will be a scroll a scroll y okay fine that's it then we will check if offset is greater than zero then we will do a thing that would be we'll just set sticky row okay otherwise we will have a else block and inside this else block we'll just copy this and you know instead of true it will be false actually uh when we is call then it will be the statistic will be true but when you just go at the top it will be false so that's why i am written this block so after doing this after uh defining this so this is done then uh here look this is the function block after this block actually we'll define window dot add event listener here we'll just call 
scroll then what you will do we'll call this handle scroll so after doing this we have to do return it so that's why return it will be return a full function so that's why this is a full functions and inside this functions we will copy this line and paste it here so if you do this then your task is done so this is the block let me comment it handle a scroll functions functions okay fine so if you write this code then let's move here we have header actually you can see there is a header here we will define think we will define it will be fixed top will be zero then left will be zero right will be zero so let's check it now you can see it's at the top and you can see this is when you are scrolling but it's on the top okay uh, additionally we would like to define uh, transitions so transitions and we will define durations durations would be 300 and we will define an effect that would be uh, is in out okay that's it now it still is not showing the effect so why it's not showing actually we have to edit this div actually here this is the div here we have nav bar you can see instead of hard coded data we would like to use template string so that's why curly braces and carrot sign from here we'll paste our copied code nav bar and excel as well here we'll actually define a dollar sign curly braces here we will check is is tricky if is tricky we'll do something otherwise we'll have a clone then we'll do something when is is tricky is true we will just add shadow shadow that would be medium type of shadow and we'll define some background color that would be busy base 100 so we'll define this background color and here we also define these transitions so that's why we'll copy these transitions and paste it here we have transitions all duration 300 is in out then our tax is done if you go back and if you just scroll then you can see the effect you can see the effect so by default it's not shown but when you scroll then this is the effect you can also check it on the mobile devices if you just scroll then the effect is applying but here there is an another problem you can see the star is above so that's why you can fix it you can easily fix it you have to open your app.css from here what you will do you will just type header then you will define z index and you will define 1001 and anything it's a bigger value and important then uh, right now the star is not above the sections okay thing i think this is completely done next we will design our popular uh, favorite our customers favorites so these sections it is the category so that's why and make sure we are designing this actually based on components so here this is components this is layout after then you have to go to the home folder here we will create a categories that would be something like categories so let me type categories dot jsx okay rafce react functional export component and let me close this on never banner and in the home after this banner we'll just import our categories so that's why categories okay if you do that then back to here then you can see we have categories and footer footer is by default uh, you can just remove that from your main.jsx so let me just where is the uh, layout the layout is here we can just remove this footer for now we don't need to define it right now 
so if you do this then you can see on the category we have the category text here so let's design this category so on the category here you can see we have a title we have subtitles here so that's why let's go back here here firstly we will define the same thing it's on the middle so that's why we can define class name here and that would be section container we already defined section container so if you define do uh, define this then you can see the category is now, now here so then what you can do you can add some padding that would be py py would be 16 for now let's check it now there must a space okay inside this div we will have another div so let me have another div inside this div we will have a paragraph tag and here we will define customers favorite so copy this text and paste it here we will define class name the class name would be text red we will define something like uh we will have uppercase then we will have tracking white tracking white then font will be semi bold then we will define text large text lg large so this is the paragraph tag if you check then this is the customs and uh, favorites so customers favorite you can just define its medium font medium let's check it now it's fine i think this is okay um i think this is okay after then we have actually this text so that would be popular category so it will be a uh it will be a is three or something or you can just define a is two tag let me define a is two tag so here we'll have class name that class name would be uh text for excel by default on sorry for excel by default on medium devices that would be text 5 excel then we will be defined font bold then we will define my2 then on medium devices we will define leading is notch by default leading is not okay so we can define this let's check it we can just target this div and make the class name text center okay so now the text is on the center but another thing if you check this is the same thing here is the same styling and the true one is same styling here is the same styling so that's why i would like to uh, create a custom css here we'll just cut this and on our app.css here we'll define a title so that would be first one is subtitle subtitle will call apply then we'll paste this css in instead of this firstly we'll call subtitle and paste it here then we'll cut these sections these portions actually will be our title so that's why title will take apply then we'll paste it there so we'll call title from this class okay now still everything is okay but it will make us flexible to make this type of sections we can easily do that so after defining this text we will have this type of cards full cards actually so that's why after this div we will have category category card okay then we will take a div 
so if you define a div here then it's the next task is fine actually uh, for this category we will define some data at the top so that's why here we we'll define conost category items here it will be array of objects so that's why array sign we will have objects inside here we will define an id that will be first one then we will have title uh, this is the title of the dish name so title would be something like let me copy from here so the this is the title let me okay define a quotations paste it there after then a comma then we will have descriptions so we define it shortly this and we will use quotations paste it here after then we need image here so every time we will have image so that's why let me add comma here that would be we have image and on this image we will just go to the public folder firstly then from here we have images after then we will have home inside this home we have category after this category we will have image one uh, we don't need to define public so that's why remove all we have slash images slash home slash category then image one this is the first and then we can copy it for multiple time so we need four times this will be second and let me change the title so this is something this title then we'll have this text we will have to replace the text after then we will have the image is true and then we'll have the third one add id will be three then title will be this one then we'll have these assets so add or dishes description will be this one then image will be number three then the last one is browse wall here we will have browse all then we'll define wall items that would be items and then it will be four okay that's fine our category items are created and inside this div actually we'll just map this items category so category items dot map then we will get item and index number that's why i then we'll just use arrow here we'll have parenthesis inside this parenthesis we'll take a new div so inside this div we will have to define key props so key will be unique value so that will be uh, id so item dot id actually or you can just define index simply so after then we'll define another div firstly we'll have image so that's why inside this image we'll just use uh, item dot image so let's check it now you can see we have four images we can add some class name that would be we need some background color on this image you can check it from there will have a background color we can copy this color then you can add it here so after this background color then we need to define p padding will be 5 then rounded will be full rounded will be sorry rounded will be full then we'll need to define width will be 28 height would be 28 okay let's check it now i think the food thing is done then after this div actually 
after this div we'll define another div inside this div we will have a5 we will just want to render so item dot title here after then we will have a paragraph tag we'll have item sorry inside this parenthesis we will have item dot this that means descriptions okay let's check it we'll have text thing etc and then we'll target this div we'll define class name we'll define margin top will be five and then we'll have a space a space y will be one so you can see there mass space so and now here we will target the parent div here we will define flex by default flex will be call and also on asm devices flex will be pro then we will define flex warf then we will define gap age then justify will be around items would be center items would be center margin top will be 12 okay let's check it now this is uh this is trialing so right now what to do we will target this div actually and here we will define class name we will define shadow shadow lg we will define it will be rounded so rounded md then we will have busy white then we will define py will be 6 and px will be 5 we will define width that would be 72 and then max mx would be auto auto then text would be center cursor would be pointer okay so if you define this then you can just define some hover effect so that's why on hover we'll define minus translate x will be so that would be y will be 4 and then we'll define durations 300 and a transition transition will be wall okay if you do this and back to here you can see it's affecting but the the image is not on the center so that's why this is our image block here we have an div we will define class name that would be flex then we will define w full mx water then we will define flex uh we will define item center then justify would be center okay let's check it now the image is on the center you can see you can hover any of this image and i think this is okay similar like this on so you can see this category section is done next we have a special dishes and here we have carousel so that's why we're going to make this so let me close this on here uh, what you will do uh, we don't need main.jsx on home.jsx firstly we'll have to create a uh, uh, component so that would be uh, let me check it the name is special dishes you can just copy this and here firstly we will inside this home so make sure uh, the underline is under the home we will create a component that would be a special dishes and it would be z s x r a f c e then we have to import it from the home after this category let me import a special a special dishes then you can see uh, the special dishes text is from here so firstly we will have some text here so it's very easy to do 
how you can do it so let me check uh, this section will be similar like this you have this button to toggle items so let me refresh it a little bit so now you can toggle the items and here you can just add love or you can check this type of button okay we're going to design this type of thing here so for this let me do this two thing first so firstly on the special disk sections here we will have a div here we'll define class name firstly we'll define section section container then we will define m y will be 20 okay let's check it now we have m y 20 and firstly inside this we'll have another div and we can just copy it from our category.jsx here we can just copy these div sections and paste it here actually then instead of center we'll define it left okay that's fine and let me change the text the text the first text is a special dishes so this is a special dishes then we will have this text we will have this text okay so now check it then this section is done for now uh, so we will just customize it a little bit later so no worries for now or you can just do it using define on medium devices w would be something like uh, you can just define fx to it something like 74 so let's check it okay it's too little you can just define 96 i think it's three in line but let me define it would be something like a should be pixels or something like for now okay now i think this section is done for and then here actually we need this type of carousel so for this we will explore react slack so you will have to <coughs> search this and then you can see react slack documentations you can see you can implement this type of thing if you uh, go to the documentation sections you will have examples you can choose any of these for example here is a responsive on so let me go to the responsive here we have the similar one we have buttons we have uh things like this so look we have three items so this is the similar one we will use this one but before that we have to install it so firstly hit this get started what it says you can the installation process is this way you can copy this line and then open your terminal again and then make sure it's inside this food foodie clients and paste the code after doing this it will says include these css you can just in install these css okay so let me just go back install this relevant css after this first you will have to import these css so copy it we are going to use it on our special dishes so that's why i'm pasting the css here at the top so how to use this so to use this okay the item is fine so from here go to the examples then responsive will copy the first to think or you can just copy this slide the second one and paste it here then we will need this setting actually so copy the whole setting put setting and inside this curly braces paste the setting so the setting is done so you can just name it conost 
we don't need to use bar so this is our settings you don't need to understand anything right now then what to do actually here you can just copy this slide so copy this slide or then after this you can just paste it here so if you do this then go back to your projects it says the slide is not okay maybe we can just uh we have to delete the unwanted slash we don't need this so remove it okay fine now i think here you can see something you can just scroll it look so we have buttons to scroll it look this is the thing okay fine if you can do this then next we have to customize this properly so the first one we can do it we can just Uh, import our food menus here so that's why we will define corners that would be recipes recipes then we will define set recipes that are first later will be capitalized and then we will define use a state that would be at empty area after then we will just define corners slide jar equal to react then use brief that would be null for now okay so if you do this then the next option is we will call use effect hook sorry use not use reducer it will be use effect use effect root we can just remove uh use effect hook after then the use effect hook will have empty dependency and we will have a callback functions so we'll have an arrow curly braces okay this is setting let me comment it settings okay so inside this will fetch our menu data you can see inside this public folder we'll have menu.json so we'll fetch this actually this data so that's why we'll just open a ha quotation then we have slash we'll have menu dot json then we'll just try to take a then block we'll have phrase then arrow sign then we'll have phrase dot json so convert it on json format after then we will have another then then inside this we will have data we will just firstly take a curly braces and we will try to console log data okay let's try to console log this data you can just format this control uh, show the shift alt f to format this now let's check it if you just you know spec then check your console here are some aren't it thing so let me refresh it here you are getting data but here is some warning so the warning is from actually banner so we have some mistake on this banner so let me fix it actually what is just we have to use one sense or uh, default trick or read only okay i would like to use this one on banner actually there are some errors so inside this component we have banner so here on this first div actually in this block we have the issues so we use input field but it's recommended you can have to use either default value word one change word only read so we will use only read then we will paste it inside every input block paste it in every input block so here is others input block
okay i think this is clear now if you refresh then the error has gone we are getting 60 uh, 60 numbers data we have 60 data here so array of objects so you can see huge number of data but for these sections we need limited data and that would be something like popular data so that's why let me close this here we'll just filter this data so that's why we'll conost specials page specials equal we'll define data dot filter data dot filter filter will filter and get item from here and we have arrow here we'll just filter item dot so if you just check this here we have category we'll copy this text category and then we would like to filter based on the category value that would be popular so that's why you can just choose any of this you have to define quotations so now if you just console log this specials specials so console log this specials and check your uh, your sections refresh it now you are getting only seven data so that's why right now we will just comment this then we will just set recipe and set these specials okay sorry copy these specials and paste it inside here so now inside recipes will have this so if you have this what we will do we can just do it using here so inside this actually inside these slides what you will do we can just delete everything we can just delete everything here we will face our recipes then we will have to do map sorry well oh sorry this is map and here what we will receive we will have item then we will have i then we will use arrow side here we will have quotations uh actually we want to create a cards for this styling cards designing here you can see this is a card this is a card and this is a card so we would like to create a card so that's why inside this component we will create a cards dot jsx that would be rafce then we would like to import cards from here on the bad side that would be cards then import it we'll have to define key the key would be i so i then will pass this item actually so that's why item equal will be pass this item so pass this item and we'll receive this item actually you can paste this item so here you will get some error you can just quite fix it for now so now it's okay so here we will have cards so let's back you can see still there are all cards data you can see but if you design the card sections now it will be okay um, but before that okay let's design this card sections so for this actually we'll design the card sections inside this components we will have cards and here what we will do actually we'll define <clears throat> we'll define actually a div inside here so that would be a div and inside this div oh sorry we don't need to define this div right now but we will do it later firstly we'll define uh, okay we will use a card components from tailwind css so where is the card so let's check where is the card so this is card 
you can use this type of cards you can see this is the card so we can use this type of cards so copy this JSX copy these sections and paste it inside here okay if you do this then go back to your here you can see there are some cards uh, firstly here actually we have figure and we have image attributes so we'll delete this hard-coded data instead of doing this we'll have item if item will have image you can see we have images so that's why we will just pass item dot images okay let's check it look we will have images our styling is a little bit broken but it's okay we have all images then it will be uh, let me add the title so here on this h2 we'll just add uh, this is name actually this is name item dot name then i think this is okay here we have only descriptions so let me just add to this text for now this is product descriptions then we have this so we have images you can see we have images but we have to design these sections but before that look uh what you will need firstly we'll need some buttons uh here some text so that's why this is the button inside this button we will define a is five here inside this is five we will have a span tag so a span tag will have dollar sign and after this we will have salary or prices so item is item will have price so let me check the text so this is the price will have price okay firstly we will target this is 5 we will define font semi bold okay then one is pen the color will be text sm then text will be red okay fine so let's check it then this is okay but it's on justify int will define it will be justify between between and items will be center and m top will be two so if you do this let's back now this button is fine the color will be button primary not it will be busy green then it will be text white okay fine now the button is fine the button is fine the salary is okay then for the next we will have something like we will need a a specific div actually after this card actually we will need so we can just trade this div the first div we don't need this div actually so that was the extra div so inside this uh, we will just uh, inside this figure we will just take a link components link from react router dom so it's not link from react so import link so why it's not imported link so let me import link import 
link from react router dom okay so we here we'll define a true that would be calibrasis slash it will be menu slash dollar sign items dot underscore id and inside this we have the figure so if you just hover so if you hover then you can see every image will have this and on to we want to add some class name here so the class name would be on hover the image will be a scale 105 then we will have transition transition wall duration will be 200 on medium devices the height will be 72 okay okay that's it if you hover image then it will be pop then what we'll do actually we will need a thing we will need this type of thing so let's do it firstly here at the top we define conost is art build it then set copy it paste it here the first letter will be capitalized then we'll define use a straight then we will just define false then what you will do we'll define a functions conost handle you see a art hard click then it will be a arrow functions and here we'll define so wait a minute here we'll define set is hearted will be true oh sorry not true it will be toggled so that's why not is hard fielded so this value so after defining these functions we will have to define a div so up above this link we will define a div that would be hard so we can just import fa hard so let me import a icons from react icons import fa is e a r t heart from react icons slash f a so here we'll use f a heart then let's check it we'll have hearts here so we'll need to define class name that would be is 5 w5 then cursor will be pointer here we'll target this div we'll have class name we'll use curly braces and cat sign here we will define its rating rating will define gap on then it will be absolute positions that would be so if it's absolute we'll define this will be relative okay then it will be fright two top will be two then p will be four then heart start then bz will be green okay so let's see it it's something like this 
then you can actually copy this actually copy this field so let me delete this actually here what we will do we can just check if there's any components we have ratings will have this love actually have this love okay let me just uh, check these type of loves here we will have to define heart S T E R. Then we'll have busy grant, and here we'll actually check. So dollar sign curly braces. We'll check is filtered. So is filtered. Then we'll define text would be fruits 500. Otherwise, we'll have dollar sign that would be text white okay let's check it the button is hidden if you inspect maybe you can see the button is hidden okay so what you can do it you can just go to your this section so you can just customize this setting yeah uh, you want to show three things at a time and you will scroll three items okay let's check it now you can see the heart is there but it's not working when you hit it's not working so the heart is visible but it's not working why it's not working actually we didn't define any one click so that's why after this class name we will define one click and the one click will be handed hard click okay now i think this is okay but the another thing is if it's okay but we cannot get the shape we cannot get the shape here we have to define this so that's why we will define a text here we can add custom css here We'll define a class name hard extras and here the class name would be let me uh, copy this actually so the border radius will be this okay paste it here so if you do this now back to here you can see this type of thing is there but we need to a little bit customizations here so how you can do this we can just define it it would be 28 and that would be 28 okay let's check it i think now it's better so i think this section is done but it's not actually done we have to do others stuff so you have to do others stuff what you have to do you need uh, this arrow actually and this type of arrow you click and do happen something this type of arrow so for doing this actually we'll back to our special dishes and here the first thing is what we will need to define here we have doors we have infinitives and we have speeds everything there so next what we will actually do we will try two functions at the above so let's write two functions first one is conost is i am till next arrow then it will receive some props it will receive sorry it will be pr props and then we'll have arrow and inside these functions will have conost conost will destructure class name class name then will destructure is trial 
then we'll destructure one click from the props okay after destructuring it we'll just define return so the return will be something like we'll have a div so inside this div we'll define next and here the class name would be it will have calibrasis class name <clears throat> then we will have define style style and here we will just spread the styling so this style is spread this style then we will define display display will be block okay so maybe it's inside these so after this add comma and paste it here we don't need to define comma so this is block then we will have background busy background will be red okay so and finally we'll define so one click so you can just format this so after then after this we will need one click and then one click will be one click okay fine so this on you can just define another one for the uh, preview so that's like conost simple then in a state of next we'll define preview pre preview arrow that will be similar it will be receive props it will have arrow then it will be the same thing you'll copy everything here and paste it there it will be preview it will be back and here actually we will define green so <coughs> so after defining these two things let me close this so what we will do inside this settings we will go a little bit down so let me close responsives after this responsive we will add next arrow next arrow and we will define i uh, will import actually simple next arrow after then we will define a comma that would be preview arrow and we will just import simple preview and then close it so after defining this two things next arrow and prev arrow so you can see nothing changes you can see nothing changes here but what to do actually here above after this div actually this is the text after this tape and above this slide we'll define another div so here we'll define a button that would be for examples uh, here we would like to use uh, next for example let me next and then we'll have another button that would be uh, sorry the first one will be preview so let me preview so we can just cut this on and paste it at the top okay we'll have two buttons so let's check here we have two buttons next and preview we will do what we'll do we'll just target the first one then inside this button we'll have on click 
so the one click will be this and then we'll have arrow then firstly what we will check we'll have to pass another thing we'll have to pass this slider so where you will pass here you can see this is the slider and here we will just define rep and past slider so if you fast slider then you can receive this slider from here so that's why you will check slider so slider then if slider then dot will check current current so if then currents there then we'll check slide preview slide preview then we'll call that so slide preview you can just uh, see how you can customize it so you can just uh, get it started and here you will get the way you can customize so maybe inside this api here you will have options to check how you can customize it properly so that's why you can just read that but i think that would be okay slide preview then we can just define some class name that would be class name would be uh, for example that would be a button then we'll define p2 then rounded pool then we just define m left will be five okay let's check it so where it is then it's preview it's not working right now but just let me do it for here we'll define on click on click here we will have the same thing we'll have the same thing and instead of preview we will have slide next next okay then here we'll define okay let's check it so here is the thing look this button are working so here this button are working so refresh it and check if you hit next then it's working then it's working you can go previous okay this button are working so that's why next you have to decide this instead of preview we can use icons so we can just import icons import then we will use icons from react icons slash slash fa6 actually font of some six versions icon we will receive so that's why so here is the first one here we will define the icons the first one icons will be fa angle left a n c l angle left so these icons so let's check it We'll have this icon we'll just do styling we'll have class name then we'll define w will be age age will be age then we'll have p will be one so this is the on and then here instead of next we'll use fa angle right angle right and here the class name would be the similar so class name here we will define similar class name f ace 8 w8 then p1 and here on this second team we have class we have everything but let me copy this thing 
and here additionally let me type background green then okay that's okay now we can see we have two buttons and it's appropriately working properly then we need to move this button at the top so that's why what we will do here this is let me comment here this is arrow button and here we have a class name so here we have a class name we'll define it md flex sorry md will be absolute absolute and if it's absolute then we have to define relatives our parent div will be relatives so relatives so if you define this then look the button has gone from here so after then we'll define what we will define we'll define right will be three and top will be h okay now you can see the button is here then you can define some padding to the bottom so that would be 10 we can define md that would be mr 24 okay fine so if you do this then you can see this is the one we have button here similar like this on sorry similar like this one and if you need enough space you can add a space here you can define class name that would be class name will define overflow overflow obviously would be hidden then you can define m top will be 10 you can define a space x will be 5 so let's check it now i think it's much better so i think it's much better we have buttons we have text we have descriptions we have images and everything uh, on the card we can just define another thing inside this div we instead of using h2 we can use link so we can define the two will be the same to here we're using copy it and you can use it paste here so format this okay now we can see everything is done these sections is appropriately done okay so if this section is done then next one is we have to create this one okay it's very simple you can do it easily so let's do it firstly this is a testimonial section so that's why copy this text we have to copy the section so we don't need this and from here what we will do we will actually um, create a component inside this home so that would be testimonials let me type it a small letter testimonials dot sorry malls dot jsx rafce we have to import it from home so after this special this is testimonials okay so if it's testimonials what we can do we can firstly define here the class name section section container so let's check it the section container so this is the section container so inside this will have div inside this div will have another div so here that would be similarly left div here will define class name that would be mdw half then we'll copy it then we'll define this would be right div and here on this div we'll type class name that would be flex then item uh, so by default flex would be call then we'll have medium devices the flex would be row then we'll have 
item center then we will have justify between then gap would be 12 okay so let's back here this is the left this is the right but uh on the left we have images so that's why this is the left sections here we will import an images so that's why let me type image tag then here we'll define slash free client slash public folder slash images slash uh food uh, sorry home slash on testimonial we will have testimonials or testimonials image so let's check it then uh, we can't see anything because we have to remove these public things so that's why remove this now hope you can see it now here this is the image on the left side the image is here okay so if the image is there then what you can do you can go to the right sections and here you will define the same text let me check this is the same way as this text so that's why we can just copy it from category.jsx or thing from here you can just copy this and inside here you can paste it let me format this so let's back here the text but it's on the center let me define this is text left and let me change the title so this is testimonials this is testimonials after then we'll have this text so that would be this text so let me check it so this is the text uh we can do a little thing on here we define w will be four by five for now now this is fine after then we'll have some text so that would be copy this and then we will take block code and inside this block code we'll paste it we can just quite fix it for now then let's check it our website then it will have a block we'll define class name here the class name would be m y will be five then text would be secondary secondary then we'll make it leading that would be 30 pixels okay let's check it now this section is done then we have this type of thing so you can just uh, do it using tailwind css so from where we have for examples we have where have marks or similar let me just explore it indicator so this is not indicator uh, maybe why is it so on stats so let me explore why it is oh no it's not a chat bubble so no clubs i have to explore a little bit where the thing is it starts table so it's table actually it's on avatar maybe okay this is on avatar you can just copy this avatar sections you can see this type of avatar here there or you can just use this type of avatar okay let me use this type of avatar so we'll just after this block code after this block code we'll just add comments so that would be avatar and we'll just take a new div inside this div we'll paste it so format this so how you can just close this okay let's check here you can see anything because the image is not there so that's why we'll change these images so let's do it here we'll have this on slash 
all time use slash then you will get suggestions slash home slash uh, te testimonials then one let me delete this first one let's check if the okay the first one is visible so right now we can copy this every time and replace it here so in a state of the second one it will be testimonial 2 and that would be testimonial 3 so let's check now this is fine we have these sections and then next we have to take another div so this is the avatar div after this we'll take another div and here what we will need we'll have to define a as 5 and then here we will have customers feedback so that is customer feedback then we will have another div so inside this div we have a icon so that would be f a star import it then use there so we need to define it a class name that would be text evolo 400 okay fine then we'll need a span tag and then we'll define rating so here the rating is 4.9 then when we will define another span tag then that would be this review so this review so copy it paste it here so if you do this then what here we'll have class name that would be text and the text color will be let me copy this color and paste it here so after then this and this is will be bold something like so that's why we will target this div here we'll have class name that would be font medium font medium and then if everything is fine here we'll have s5 we'll target this then we'll define that would be text lg we'll define font semi bold uh, so if everything fine then we'll target this div and this div will have class name that would be flex oh sorry that would be a space y equal one okay fine let's check it now this is a space y equal one and here we'll define class name flex items center gap will be two let's check now this is fine and target their parents div so the parent divs is here this is the parent div here add class name that would be flex items center then we'll define gap will be four we'll define flex warp flex warp okay now this section is done actually you can see how easy to design this type of sections then the next one is we have this type of thing and it's also very simple look this left side and this this right side and this left side is same and we have some additional things so that's why we will just create another component on home so here this section is actually service section so we'll just check our service text so you can just create a our services dot jsx rafce then we have to import it from home so that's why our services 
okay the final one is we have to add class name that would be section container okay let's check it if the section container yeah the section container is there then we will define my that would be 16 okay then actually it's similar to the this one so that's why we can copy some code from the testimonial sections we can copy the inside div we can copy this whole div and paste it inside our service sections so maybe we'll get some error actually we don't need these sections so we don't need this avatar section so we'll remove this so here we'll okay fine so if you do this then you can see this section is copied but on the left side we will have text so that's why so this is text let me add comment so this is text that's why we will just copy this div and paste it above so this is image this is images then here above this image we'll paste this so if you do this then you can see on the left we have images and the image is okay we don't have images but let me edit this first we have text so this is the text sections we'll have this one then we'll have this text copy this copy this then we'll have this text copy this text no state of p we can use p here then we'll paste the title so if you check then this is fine but we need a button so let me create a button here that would be button and it would be explore and here we can just define it to be button the button was a busy green then text will be white then we will have px h then py py will be three then rounded will be full let's check it now this is the button and the button is okay and instead of this image we will have actually uh, some cards so that's why here we we'll remove the image we will need this type of cards so that's why what we can do we can actually uh, define some thing at the top we will define a variable here conus that would be services service list actually list then it will be array object so that's why firstly we will have id that would be so sorry it will be a number so that's why then we will have title that will be the first one is let me copy from the figma file first one is catering then we will have descriptions in short this will have the flowing text then we will have image we'll have to define food slash public slash then we have images slash we have home inside this home we have actually services slash we have icon on we need to delete these sections so that's why it starts with slash images okay the first one is done we can just copy this for four times okay let's edit the second one then let me copy this this will be fast delivery then we'll have this text this text will have image icon 2 <coughs> this is the third number so id is free then title then we have to copy these descriptions so let me 
remove this then we will have icon 3 after that the last one is gift card okay this is gift card id will be full and then descriptions this will be the descriptions our image will be icon 4 okay if you do this inside here actually we can take another div inside this div we have calibrasis we'll have service list then we'll map it then we will actually receive service then we will have arrow here we will have parenthesis inside this parenthesis we will have another div here we will define key props so the key props will be service.id then inside here we will actually take an image tag here you know state of src we will define service.image then after then we will have a s5 that will be service dot title then we will have a p tag that will have service dot descriptions okay if you check your website right now you can see there are some text and icons we have to styling this so firstly uh, we'll define class name that would be mx water then here on is 5 I will define a class name that would be p top will be 3 then font will be semi bold of uh, here the class name would be and the text would be something like this text color so let me copy this text color So copy this text color okay if you do this finally we will target this div and here we will define class name and shadow will be sm so shadow will be md then we will define rounded md rounded sm then we will have py5 then px will be 4 then text will be center then a space y will be 2 then text would be text green and cursor will be pointers and here we will need to add some hover effect that would be border indigo 600 then transition wall duration 200 okay let's check it so here you can see because we need to define another hover on hover that will be border okay now i think it will be look this is adding but we need to define some classes at the parent if that would be grid so it's grid then we'll define one sm that would be grid calls two and by default grid calls one we'll need to define gap eight will define items center okay let's check it now this section is done obviously you can see this section is now done so if you done this then the next one is we have to design this footer and it's very simple so let me close this on this on this on and finally we'll go to the main layouts and here we'll just import our footer so that's why inside this component we will create a components that would be footer dot jsx rafce and here we will import footer on after this layout so that would be footer 
and it would be component so let's check if the footer is there yeah this footer is here so that's why we will design this footer sections uh so for this footer sections actually what we'll do we'll simply use our daisy ui if you go there and if you go a little bit then you can find footer so this is footer we can actually use this type of footer so let me check here the footer is we have the food thing and then we have some buttons so that's why you can choose this type of thing you can just copy this one and this is footer components here we will actually let me delete okay sorry no, everything is going to delete so let me delete this footer and paste this code here let me format this so if you do this then you can see the footer is here but here are some background color we don't need that so that's why we can remove this b backgrounds and here we can uh, just define on excel devices we can define px px will be 24 and by default p will be 10 and by default px x will be 4 so if you do this then you can see now this is done and then you have to replace the logo so where is the logo here we are having logo so you can just remove this svg here we can import logo so that's why img then img tag here we'll have src then we can just import logo from here so public folder then we have logo so if you do this then the logo is there you can some uh add some class name here that would be mui while the five so let's check it now mass space then we'll have this text so here inside this p let me paste this text so if you do this then this section is done you can just add a width here actually can to define on medium devices w would be 40 so the width will be a small here here in three lines you can just customize this text from here let me show you one thing so for example here we have user uh, useful links so the service will be useful links then we need about us so we'll just copy from figma and paste it there we'll have events we'll just delete this we'll have blocks delete this then we'll have faq okay you can do this way you can just customize this way so if you do customize this it's your tax actually if your tax then what is the left the left one is you have to design those sections but if you check your uh daisy UI, you can see if you scroll a little bit then you have this type of thing you can copy this on actually then actually this is the footer one and after this you can just define acer then after then you can paste it here so if you do this then you can see again here this is the thing here you can just remove this background and here you can just do the same thing you have to define these three things here you can just copy it and paste it here okay so if you do this then you can see the thing is there you can just remove the text now i think okay uh you need to remove the svg so remove svg okay fine then this is done you can just make other customizations if you want but i am okay with this hope you can do the rest of this thing and try to make this type of footer if you face any problem then uh you can contact with me and if you like this video please comment below and inspire me and i will come in the full course very soon so this is the first part and the next part will be published within 
three or four days. So stay with us. Thank you.